Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. We're right outside a big, large Nilfgaardian camp, and I'm not really sure what's gonna happen now because it looks like, yeah, wow, well, I just palaces. needed to take one step. The machines of war, too many to count. I cannot fathom it. Has Nilfgaard sent all its forces into Lyria? I don't think they did. Grace, but a single army. God's protectors. The queen uttered a juicy curse. Dravagrad stood before them, Nilfgaardians all round it. Three, perhaps four battalions of armored infantry. Arbalists and cavalry behind them. Trebuchet volleys had punched holes in the walls, while battering rams had twisted the main gate open. But elsewise, the city was mere moments from falling to the foe. Okay, so that means we're right on time. Dude, we stand not a chance. Nilfgaard outnumbers us twofold. More! Then our men must put double the spirit into the fight. Double the heart. Lyria! Emboldened by their valiant queen and commander, the Lyrians charged headlong at Nilfgaard's lines into a hail of bolts and arrows. Okay, that means battle, of course, and the music is kicking in. So, story battle, special rules. The Nilfgaardian soldiers were well equipped. Each wore a heavy black plate, a helm topped with black wings, and wielded a tall pavise shield emblazoned with the golden sun. The Lyrians, in their kilted jackets and light mail, appeared all the smaller and weaker by comparison. Yet, they were to prove that the imposing Nilfgaardian armor was but a pretense of power. So optional, eliminate Vreemde, the commander. So he's one of the cards from Gwent. Let's see how this is gonna work out. So definitely redraw the pikeman. Keep the Wagenberg. I'm gonna remove the elf and onion soup. Two drummers seems enough. Maybe a forager if I can get one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, bye mommy. There we go. Attack! Rid this city of all black clad filth! Your Grace, I see the commander. We must train our efforts on him. So, Vreemde, every turn on turn start, restore a unit to its base power. If it is destroyed, Neve wins the battle. And then the trebuchets, after three turns on turn start, damage all enemies by one. Would we be able to use the Wagenberg to get an advantage out of this? Let's see, let's use a regiment drummer. Again, again, use Meave's ability. Again. And then get another drummer out. Let's just start stacking those drummers. I think it's a normal battle if I see this correctly. So I'm gonna have to save up a few things. And I do love the music. Um, so let's get the Wagenberg on there. And then use the regiment drummer. To get another regiment drummer over now here. A waste of time for then we get man. one armor on the Wagenberg, but we're gonna lose that in the next turn. No biggie, no biggie. Very good. So I lose one on each unit every time, which is a bit annoying, but uh, let's summon all copies of the Rivian Pikeman. That gives us three armor. And then we can use Meave Warhammer to choose whatever we want to get out of our deck. And I think we're going to go for a Lyrian Arbalest. And then use the Regiment Drummer to get that Lyrian Arbalest out. Which gets us to seven. Seven damage. And... Hmm. Good focus on the Commander, but I feel like they're going to start restoring him anyway. Restore a unit to its base power. Might actually be him as well. Let's do that. Then use the Wagenberg to... Yeah, let's just use the Wagenberg. So next time I'll be able to do 8 damage, which is not going to be enough to kill the commander. But with 4, I might be able to almost kill the Trebuchet. Oh, and he restores himself as well. Okay, so that was what I was afraid of. Um, let's use the Lyrian Horn to just get rid of all the trebuchets. There we go. So there go the trebuchets. 
and end the turn. Oh no. So now they're immune. But if I kill it, I get to remove the immunity. Let's put the Regiment Drummer right next to the Arbalest. Left, right, left, and right. use Meave's ability. To get a Reynard out of there. How many drummers do I have left? One more. Yeah, let's just get Reynard out of there. And end the turn. And of course he restores his own uh, himself. So every turn on turn start restore, yeah. So why did that happen again? Strength null copies of this unit on hand, because he kinda got the effect when Dale and Foot Soldiers were placed on there as well. But the drummer, or maybe could use Count Caldwell. Count Caldwell to fill up the room. Let's get the drummer over here. Again and and then I can't again. use the arbalest anymore. So let's just do that Give then. Um, could use the drummer as well. Maybe let's do that. Now we get Reynard out of there, and that gives us more charges for all the drummers. Bring us victory. And we get another charge on the Wagenberg as well, which could be nice. Could be nice, but let's end the turn. And damn it, he passed. Might actually have made a mistake here, but passed as well. First round is ours, and I lose all my units. Let's redraw the sightman. The captives didn't deceive. It was fortunate we snared those reinforcements. Indeed. Let's just... Because he has resilience, so he gets those 20 every time. Uh, I have 7 cards, so I think I'm going to just pass. Off to the front yet again. And he uses a card since... Why does that keep happening? Jesus. That happened like three times in the same turn, although that were technically two turns, probably. So. Alba! Gonna start off with a Lyrian Sightman to see what we can do. My there we go. And I'll use the ability of me ah! to get the Lyrian Arblast up front. Just gonna play whatever we have and Off throw front, everything we have again. at those guys. And they keep boosting themselves, of course. Then I could go for the Forager, but I'm not going to do that just yet. So, um, let's start putting down some Lyrian Arbalest. So that's six, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Six on one of the Dalen Foot Soldiers. Then I can use Meave's ability. We're going to get two more boosts. Just keep going with that Lyrian Arbalest. And end the turn. We'll see whose army is the strongest. Draw a copy of this unit. Interesting. Discard all copies of this unit from hand and deck. Okay. So I could use the foragers, but I'm gonna save them up. So let's just use another field medic. You will sweat like a swine if I'm lucky, ticket. I get a drummer. There well, we go. A waste of time for one like me. That's gonna help us out immensely. So let's end the turn again. Yes. Then, if we go... I'm gonna save the foragers for last, so let's just go with the uh, Arbalests. How many are there? Six. I can go towards nine, so let's just put the Arbalest over I'm here. And put that seven damage on that Derland Foot Soldier. Get the Regiment Drummer, and we get our... Ooh, I should have used that later, but yeah. Never mind, let's get another Arbalest down on there. I can have two more cards in that row, so I'm gonna use the Forager last. So that's eight damage. There we go. Then use Meave's ability to start firing off the Arbalest and again the Sightman going up. There goes one foot soldier. I think we're gonna win this by sheer force. There goes Vreemde again. Yes, 
Okay, okay, we're fine, I think. We're fine. So let's just get the sightman inside of the forager. Oh, this beauty what a waste. There we go. And turn. Do that one more time in the next turn. So forager on the other forager. So that's 47. We're gonna add to one of the field medics in the next turn. Fire of Meave's ability one more time. And get a lot of boost out of that. And then we're going to use the Lyrian Merlot to finish this yes. off in style. We're going to go over 200 points. And there we go. Ah, it's one of the, the lower soldiers. Okay, fair enough. Let's pass 200 points. They're and retreat. we've won the battle. The city's ours. We didn't kill the commander, but we did win by a lot. So we definitely don't need the drummers to win battles like that. Because those foragers are really, really powerful. The Nilfgaardians fled in panic, abandoning war machines, shields and arms, even their wounded. The defenders rejoiced. They laughed boisterously, and cries of delight and chanting could be heard all around. Warrior Queen, they shouted. Meave, Meave, Meave. Hear that, your grace. I do. No sound rings more lovely to a ruler's ear. Yet rest on our laurels, we cannot. Caldwell, the situation in the town, what can you tell me? Wall breached. Thrice. 400 wounded, near a thousand without roofs over their heads. All nothing compared to the grain stalls. Went up in smoke during the siege. And it's some time yet afore the harvest. Your grace. The war's just begun, I know. All coins should bolster the army, yet if we leave the folk of Dravagrad no gold, there will be hunger, with all the attendant discord. Yeah, I mean, we can't underestimate the effect of people dying from starvation. They won't be able to defend the city, but they'll all just die off sickness, because I see rats running in the background as well, so that's not good. Fine, we shall lend our support to Dravograd. Or Dravograd will have to manage on its own. Well, we have the coin. Luckily, I've saved up uh, quite a bit of funds. The drought of 1258, I remember so there we go. too well. I saw famine, what it drives folk to do, the extremes. A strong army I need desperately, yet not at all costs. The townsfolk need gold to survive till the harvest. Count how much, then give it to the garrison commander. As you command, your grace. The battle we've won, there's just the war that remains. And Nilfgaard will strike again, doubt it not. We must move on. Caldwell, ride ahead to Lyria. My son must call the gathering of the Council of Peers. Tell him so. We'll have much to discuss. Reynard and I will follow with the troops. We shall seek out any Nilfgaardian stragglers. Prevent them from rejoining the main force. I don't trust Caldwell. But... Yeah, there he goes. This card has been removed from your army, so we can't use Caldwell in the next few. Uh, but we did get Fake Flora, and this card has been added to your army. Meave's Gonna have to check what that does. And left the queen to think. She was hungry, sore from the fight, spent. Yet sensing her soldiers' eyes upon her, she set off for the stable. Her gait brisk, her head held high. Towards the stable. Okay. Um, can I actually get back into the city? Not through that door. Oh, that's going to be sad if we can't do that. You know what? I'm just going to go towards the front again. And start rummaging around and see what we can find. Okay. What else do you have to say? Leave the common folk to tidy up. Never damn changes. Ever the same. Oh, come on, we gave you a lot of money. You saved us, and not a moment too soon. From death and fates worse than that, I'd say. Your Majesty, you saved us. Okay, 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 okay. So there we go. He doesn't have anything else to say. We can't enter the city, it seems. Which is a bit odd. But if I recall correctly, there was a golden chest inside that Nilfgaardian encampment. So let's rummage around in here. It might be something of use here. Yeah, because there's a, a lot of supplies here, obviously. Ooh, I think we're almost getting our money back already. 
Let's get that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that was that was a thousand coins at, at once there. So let's open up the chest. Uh, we got an other elf and onion soup. Oh, that's for Gwent itself then. Okay, okay. Great. Okay, a letter. I've dispatched additional resources in our effort to gain allies in the region. So reports suggest we are close to securing the lion's share. Do not leave the Nordlings wanting. Spare no expense. They shall return everything to us before long with interest. Okay. Another interesting thing is, of course, during the battle, Reynard mentioned that we were lucky that we took care of those reinforcements. Because uh, I have a feeling they might have played a bigger role in that battle if we would have left them alone previously. Because uh, they were really emphasizing that point. Let's check that out. There's a lot of supplies just lying around here. Might actually want to check out the workshop to see if there's anything new uh, right there as well. I don't see anything to the south here. Doesn't seem like I can actually go there. So let's head back to Dravograd and see what we can do there. But first we're going to check the workshop. There's still no upgrades in the workshop. So let's just check out the commander's tent. Because of course we lost uh, Caldwell, which means we have a bit more things available to us. I'm going to remove the elf and onion soup and replace it with decoy again, because decoy is really nice. Fortitude tonic might also be interesting. Um, but then restraint, force two units to duel. So dueling means that they use their power and deal damage to each other until one or the other is dead. Um, hmm... Might actually be interesting, although it's a really big damage dealer. And not much else. You know what, let's do that. Let's use the fake Florian and see what we can do with that. Might be handy if we get, uh, have fights against bigger units. But then, gonna have to see what we can actually make with all of that. So I've just added another drummer to the mix. That should be enough for now and gives us a bit more units. Because usually we run out of units by the end of a... Uh, a double rounded match so that should be fine the workshop we have all the equipment there i'm just going to check out the royal tent we get a report from the nilfgaardian offensive nilfgaard crossed border in three spots near spala scala and rivia and we marched to capital temporarily halted by victory at, of, at dravograd but further attacks expected in the near future imperial forces simultaneously attacking the Marian allies enemy scouts seen surveying road to edern edern Imperial fleet movements near ports of Novigrad, Rogovin, and Blaviken suggest attack on Rodania also planned. All north in danger, which is actually consistent with the books. Because of course, the Nilfgaardians are really, really clever. They just attack everybody at once. Because they also have the troops for it. Doesn't seem like I can enter the city. So we're going to have to move around the castle and move on towards the village next door. So there we go, a little village Golden over eye. here. Golden air reaps black clouds like grain. Mave, mave, mave. Yay, that's us. Okay, let's check the notice board. Because this seems all too happy for a Witcher story, by the way. And let's see what this has in store for us. If the map would like to open. Yeah, there it goes. So we have a few question marks later on. And it's actually sad that we can't enter Dravograd itself. And a bit of a puzzle over here. But that seems to be it. Uh, we're actually at the eastern side of the board. This kind of makes me feel like this is not the only map that we'll be traversing. But we'll see about that. Let's move on and talk to these people. My lady, the villagers at fear an attack from Nilfgaardian marauders. They ask that you order a group of soldiers to remain to offer protection. So we can either leave the soldiers just for free and we get morale out of that or we get a bit of money out of that. Well, um, we are at max morale at the moment so this would just mean losing units. So let's just leave them here for a bit of money. Dark day for the Emperor. His arm is shredded to ribbons. Indeed. Long may she live. Our Slayer of Black Clads. Oh yeah. Hooray! The Slayer of Black Clads. Okay, there we go. Um, That means I'm going to have to take a look around for more resources. Although we did just pull for uh, 200 coins from those people. But there we go. A bit more wood. 
And moving on, I assume, because there's nothing over here. Although there was a question mark a bit further on. Neve stood there we go. surrounded by advisors, discussing. When all at once they heard a mighty thud. Bloody hell! They looked to see a cavalryman who'd clearly fallen from his saddle. The men who witnessed the blunder began to jest, only to choke on their laughter, as the wretch, having risen to his hands and knees, began to shake and vomit blood. Oh, oh this is not good. Probably poison. The medic's diagnosis, poison. In spite of his best efforts, the cavalryman breathed his last that very night. Soon, several other riders developed the same symptoms and at the last shared their comrade's fate. All were buried at the roadside, beneath an old willow. This looks to be no coincidence, Reynard said gravely. Our stores of water, someone's poisoned them. We must find the fiend. In the interim, your majesty must quench her thirst with wine. Okay, that doesn't seem like a good idea either, but there we go. This is interesting. So as I said, I was a bit too happy for a witcher story. Oh, look at the graves. So we lost, I think, about three or four dudes there. That's also a good indication that I need to keep an eye on whatever I spend, because we might need some more after this. Milady, a strange boat floated past thought it imperial, but it flew not black sails, but reddens. Deep red, like blood. Where's Deep red Yanko? like blood. For dawn I sent him into the fields, but he's not returned. Okay. Milady, a strange boat floated past. Okay, so a strange boat floated past with red sails. Deep red sails. That's supposed to ring a bell? Doesn't really ring a bell. So there's a man with a question mark here next to the mill. My lady, the owner of the mill has said the collection of this gold was a trying task, but he offers it to you for the betterment of the army. A model subject one others should look to. He has our tanks. Of course, we need the gold. And we have all morale we need to. So uh, there we go. So that's just probably to give you a few options if you lost morale during that final battle. But uh, we clearly didn't. So let's just move further, I suppose. Horn sounded. Meave recognized them at once as those of the Lyrian vanguard. She drew her sword and prepared to face the invader. Yet coming down upon her force were not Nilf guardians, but bearded warriors clad in leather, horned helmets on their heads. This... this was not so. The queen could not believe her eyes. Skelligan raiders, this far inland. But this was no time to be bewildered. Meave spurred her horse, it neighed and reared, and then the twain leapt into the fray. Okay, so Lippy Goodmund is actually a character I've seen in Gwent already, because this that card is in there, and we got that card already. So Skelligus fight differently than the other folk of the north. With a song on their lips, they throw themselves at enemy sword and axe. With an eager smile, they welcome barrages of arrows, shrugging off all wounds. It is no small feat to best the islanders in battle, and yet it is possible, as Meave was about to prove. So optionally, we can eliminate Lippy Government, and we have special rules, so that's a special rule, and a shortened battle, so only one round. So let's make the most of it. We have what we need, I think, with the double forager. Maybe swap out the war wagon because I don't have any drummers at the moment. Uh, drummer, 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 drummer. Yeah, there we go, drummer. So I can start putting in drummers later on. So let's finish redrawing immediately then. Yep. Reynard, what the devil? Sea Raiders here. Okay, Reynard does not uh, warn the response. So 150. Damn. After one turn on turn start, force the highest unit to damage Lippy by its power. Then Lippy damages that unit by his power. Okay. Can I actually use this? I can't use this on bosses probably. Huh? Yeah, cannot target bosses so I can't use Lippy to do just destroy everything else. Can't use any of my cards, other cards just yet. So I'm just going to use the Rivian Pikeman. For Rivia! There we go. And then I can use Meave. You know what? I'm going to strategically wait with that. Because it doesn't give me that much of an advantage right now. Let us put our steel to the test. 
So, he's gonna do that every turn. Great. Um, so, Lyrian Arb less it is. Because my drummer is gonna... It's the highest unit, right? Yeah, force the highest unit to attack. Damn. That's gonna hurt. Uh, so, Arbalest. And then use Meave's ability. Just to fire off the Arbalest again. Um, the War Wagon then. Ah, but I won't be able to pull the War Wagon. And the turn. Who Nelly? Mario's been chosen. The gods speak to him. Who Nelly? Um. So let's use the Lyrian horn to just do this. So our two Rivian pikemen are higher than the regiment drummer. I'm gonna put down. Oh, I can't put the regiment drummer down, but I can do that next turn. So let's end it there. Ooh. 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 That also works with his units. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. So let's use the drummer. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Use me's ability to get. Could I do Raynard? That might actually not be such a bad idea to just get Raynard as well to get more stuff on the field because I have the defense of my two pikemen right now. So Wait I won't be able to kill him like this. On your I need more stuff. So, we're just gonna try and use the Forages then, I suppose. So, wait. So, first off, Regiment Drummer. I got Reynard. Uh, there we go. We must trust each other. Then I can use the Regiment Drummer again to get the War Wagon down. You can try to win them all, but you won't. And then I can use a Forager to take out Reynard. One man's battlefield is another man's right Which is gonna give us 27 orbit. damage, which is good. So the higher the better. And maybe even use, I can't use the Lyrian Merlot just yet. I might be able to do that next time. So that's 27 damage. I promise you a quick deer. There we go. More damage, sadly not on the unit I wanted it to be. Then the Forager, I'm gonna use the Forager on the War Wagon. Yes. Oh, and that's 25 Waste. again. You can use Meave's ability, not gonna help me that much anymore, but uh, at least we can get, yeah, Lyrian Arbalest, I suppose. So that's 25. And now all that remains for me, and that's going to damage something by 5 as well, just the Raider. Then, um, first off, the Lyrian Sightman. So let's put it right next to the Drummer. We'll be reaping black clouds. And end the turn. There we go, he starts killing off his own units. What is it? Going higher and higher. We have three more cards, which means I need to do at least a bit more damage to uh, kill him. So let's put the Lyrian Arbalest down. Arbalest to your command. Attack Lippy Gutman. Use Meave's ability. And use the Arbalest. There we go. Two more damage. Sadly, not on Lippy Gutman. Ooh, okay, and the turn. So he's destroying his own units now. <laughs> You've got stones, wench. So I you think with the Lydian McLow, can't let you through elseways. I might be able to use the Lydian McLow to force one of the units higher. There we go. Let's end the turn. And there we go, we survived our first Sealed attack from Lippy Gutman. Which means that in the next turn we'll be able to take care of all of that. 
And then we can use this to force two units to duel. There we go. That was a nice bit of damage. We can use Mii's ability one more time. And then we can pass. Don't know if killing Lippy Gutman is enough to finish this fight, by the way. But there we go. Yeah, there we go. Victory! Killed ourselves a Skalliger Raider with a very fancy name. The Skalligers fought hard, fought bravely, brought mayhem. Yet the Queen's ordered, disciplined force won the day. The Islanders seemed entirely undismayed at their defeat. A trait of theirs, I must admit, I've ever admired. Well, you're right, Scrappy, for landlubbers. Lippy Goodman applauds you for your pluck, Queen. When we sup, me and the lads will drink your health. Okay. There we go. We have Murdroom, the bear. So usually that resets uh, a unit to its base power, but it might do something else. Punish the Raiders or turn the Skelligers against Nilfgaard. That sounds like the better option, in my opinion. That we shall yet see, sir. We must know something first. What brings you this far inland? What drove you from the sea? Meave asked, crossing her arms. Ha! What always drives us? Luton and Pelleton! The coast's pecked clean since long, so we set our longships up the Yaruga for gold and glory! Amusing. I always assumed you to be honorable folk. And who dares to claim elsewise? Okay, well, uh, the Nilf Guardians do seem to have a problem. Your very actions do so. You've attacked a land preoccupied, a land already at war with invaders. But I suppose it makes sense. You've ever feared to attack Imperials? The Queen prodded gently. What did you say, wench? Goodman had quickly turned red with rage. I'll prove just how wrong you are, I will! Why? We'll be drinking mead from Nilfgaardian helmets for sundown. Follow me, lads! Meave smiled as she watched the islanders gather their gear and prepare to march. She doubted not in the least that Goodmund would honor his pledge. Of course he will, and there we go. We called kind of an ally. I feel like that was almost an ally. Like he was gonna take out the Nilfgaardians for us. There we go. Recruitment. Let's send more lads to our ranks. And more and more stuff. And with that, with the defeat of Lippy Government, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.